Hey guys, it's Dr. Josh, and today I'm gonna to show you how you can tape your fingers to help prevent any of those injuries that you may be having as a result of jujitsu. So uh, in this case, I just have a piece of tape, you know, a normal roll of tape, and I just kind of like put it into this small little type of piece here. So I'm gonna to try to show you the best I can. I obviously am working uh, like this. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you, the first thing I like to do is I like to place this tape right here on the back of my thumb or my finger here, just like this. And what I will do is before I do any of this stuff, I will actually rip off a good enough length and you'll get better at this as you go, but I will rip this off. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to place the tape on the back side above that first knuckle there, above here, okay? Above this. So this is what it looks like, okay? The next thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna go around one full loop. I'm gonna control, I'm gonna complete that loop. And then I'm gonna start candy caning. I know I just made that word up, but candy caning, and I'm gonna go in a diagonal across the joint line right there, right? Across that little knuckle line. And then I'm gonna do that again. So see how it's kind of wrapping around. So I'm at the top of the other one here. And I'm going to go all the way down and do that again. And then at the base here, I'm gonna continue at the bottom. At the base here, I'm going to wrap around. I like to wrap around twice. So you're pretty much making a circle at the top and a circle at the bottom. On the second, pass of the circle, you're going to start going back upwards, right? And so you try to cross an X in the middle there. And then the same thing will happen at the back side. You'll have an X going in the back and then X going in the front. Now, a big thing that I see with people like this, right? If you can kind of see right here how there's so much extra slack. And that's why I said you'll get better at this as time goes, is that you'll guesstimate like where it would be I like to make sure that if I have to bite the tape like that, that I will finish it on the back side, right? I will finish the tape on the back side because that means when I'm gripping and I'm holding somebody that the tape doesn't unravel. And then what I'll do at the end of this little tape session this is what it'll look like. I will squeeze just to make sure that the tape adheres to itself. And so this is how you would tape a joint or fingers and then you can go across all the fingers or whatever. Um, obviously this doesn't necessarily work the best for the thumb, but this does work for all the other fingers. So this is what it looks like on the back side again and the front side and then this is what it looks like on the side. So that's how you would tape your fingers for jujitsu. Um, and hopefully you're not having a lot of finger pain as it is, but if you are, this is a great way to help prevent it and or help stabilize it a little bit better. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you guys for the next episode.